What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I want to give you a little intuition into recognizing patterns from when you look at fractions and you're trying to convert it to a decimal. And I think a really easy way of doing that is just thinking of all these fractions in terms of money. Okay, so for example, how many quarters are in a dollar? Four quarters are in a dollar, right? So if I had one quarter, my decimal would be 0 0.25. Or in other words, 25 cents. Okay, so again, how many quarters are in a dollar? Four, right? Now, this time, if I had two quarters, then my answer would be 0 0.50. Or in other words, 50 cents, okay? So again, how many quarters are in a dollar? Four, right? And then if I had three quarters, my answer would be 75 cents. So again, if we split that dollar up into quarters, and I said I had four quarters, well, four quarters is the same thing as one dollar, right? Or simply just one, right? Four over four, any number divided by itself is just one, right? So that makes sense. Or again, let's say I'm splitting this up into quarters and I had five quarters. Well, then my answer would be $1.25, right? Or this time, let's say I had six quarters. Well, then my answer would be $1.50, or in other words, 1.50, okay? So the trick to this one is whenever you have a four in the denominator, just think of this top number as how many quarters you have. Okay, and you can apply this same thought process to a couple other numbers. Or let's say you had a denominator of 10. Okay, now the trick to this one is whenever you see a 10 in the denominator, just think of the top number as how many dimes you have. So if you had one over 10, this would be the same thing as 0 0.10, or in other words, 10 cents. Okay, if I had 2 over 10, this would be the same thing as 20 cents, okay? 5 over 10 would be the same thing as 50 cents. And then 10 over 10 would be the same thing as one whole dollar, right? Or simply just one, because again, any number divided by itself is simply equal to one, okay? Or if we had 12 over 10, so this is an improper fraction, right? This would be a dollar and 20 cents. Okay, or if we had 19 over 10, this would be a dollar 90, right? 20 over 10, this would be the same thing as two dollars. Okay, and a couple other that you might see is the number two. Okay, so the trick to this one is whenever you see a two in the denominator, just think of the top number as how many 50 cent pieces you have. So if I had one over two, this would be the same thing as 0 0.50 or 50 cents, okay? If I had two over two, this would be the same thing as one dollar, right? Or simply just, again, one. Or if I had three over two, this would be the same thing as a dollar 50, okay? Four over two, or in other words, four divided by two, you could probably do that in your head, that's just two, right? Or again, two dollars. And we could keep going, right? Five over two would be the same thing as two dollars and 50 cents. Okay, and one other number we can apply this to. How many nickels are in a dollar? Well, there's 20 nickels in a dollar, right? So the trick to this one is whenever you have a 20 in the denominator, just think about the top number as how many nickels you have. So if I had one nickel, then my decimal would be five cents. Okay, and that's how you would write five cents. Don't write five cents like this. Okay, that's 50 cents, because I could put a zero right there and then maybe that's a little more clear, right? This is 50 cents. 50 cents is not the same thing as five cents. Now again, what if I split this thing up into 20 pieces and I had two nickels? Well, then this would be 0 0.10, or in other words, 10 cents, right? Three out of 20 would be 15 cents. 
4 out of 20 would be 20 cents, okay? 10 out of 20 would be 50 cents, okay? So this is how you write 50 cents. Not like this up here, okay? That's not 50 cents. Now, let's say I split it up into 20 pieces and I had 20 nickels. Well, then this would be the same thing as $1, right? Now, what if I, again, split it up into 20 pieces and I had 21 nickels? Well, then this would be equal to $1.05. All right, guys, so you're going to start seeing these decimals a lot. So hopefully all these examples I went through help you recognize all the patterns that they have. So I hope the video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still have any questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comments section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. Also, there's a playlist attached at the end of the video. So if there's any other topics you need help with, definitely check those out and I'll see you there.